Hi guys, Luke Nuke. Uh, right, today I'm doing a tutorial for you on how to record your desktop to make tutorials like this and any other things you want to broadcast out to the uh, YouTube web. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, if you're on 8.1 or 8, um, you'll notice that uh, Fraps uh, currently you can't use, which I used to use to be honest. It's not my favorite program, but uh, as you can see it over here, I used to use it. Um, it was good for um, uh, it's good for Windows 7, but obviously you can't do that. So I had to move to something else. Now this is free, um, and it's it's not bad. It's okay. I'm sure there are better things out there, but um, considering it's free, easy to download, fast to get to use, um, I'm recommending it to you guys. So here it is, it's called Open Broadcast Software, or OBS, I searched for, um, and this is it, this is how to use it, it's really, really simple. Um, uh, obviously, you can see the little start button down here, uh, this is obviously Windows 8, as you can see, just thought I'd show you guys that. Right, okay, so, um, go to YouTube, no, don't go to YouTube, go to Google, type in OBS, and you'll see it comes up here, Open Broadcast Center. Go to the download section, <clears throat> you're presented with this. Now you've got download or you've got binary binaries. Binaries. Um, I believe this is the 64-bit one and this is the 32-bit one. I actually found the 64-bit one didn't really want to work on my machine. Um, I don't know why I have a 64-bit machine. Um, it looks a bit glitchy. So I'm just using that one. Um, but other guys have said use that one, so use either, whichever, they both seem to work just fine. Um, download it, uh, it comes as a compressed file, um, I'll see unzip it, it's all good. Uh, I'm presuming you guys know how to do that, obviously at this stage, you know, want to record stuff. So yeah, go ahead, download it, <coughs> unzip it. Then, you want to scroll through um, the list of programs and find the application. Uh, it's really easy to spot, it says application on the right hand side okay there'll be about 10 different things in your unzipped folder and one of them will say application click on the application and run it um, and you'll get a little desktop like this <clears throat> okay simple as that so when it opens up you'll be presented with something that looks similar to this window I have made it smaller um, so there it is that's what you'll be presented with and it's as easy as this to start streaming with it or to start recording with it um, the first thing you need to do is go to settings uh, broadcast settings and as you can see you've got two options you'll be set to live stream as default you, know, you want to click on file output only and then browse and select here where you want it to go I got it going into my um, videos new folder that's where I create my videos to okay click that in hit OK and that's all good next <coughs> you want to go to this screen here the scene box right click on that Add scene. Okay, I think that might have just gone blank for you now, guys. Uh, let me just remove that a moment. <laughs> okay, um, obviously trying to work on, show you the program, and uh, and work on it at the same time. So right click here, add scene. I'm not going to add scene because it'll go blank for you again. Once you've added the scene, then go to the next source box, right click here, and as you can see, you get a little drop down box, and you want to go monitor capture. If you click on this. Um, hopefully this won't go blank for you guys there we go <laughs> hopefully that's not a blank screen that you're seeing right now um, as you can see here it automatically picks up the resolution of your screen and all the other jizz jazz that you need so it's really really simple easy as that um, there we go uh, there's no need to have that now I just I won't delete that just now because it'll probably send my program a bit screwy um, but other than that that's it uh, you hit this button here to start recording or streaming as it says because you know, this program is originally designed for streaming but I use it just for recording up desktops uh, so hit uh, streaming start streaming away and then when you want to stop hit the stop obviously this is a start at the beginning and that's it easy as that really it's um it's quite good um, it's not the best um, I've noticed when you flick between uh, you flick to the apps it takes a little few seconds for that to clear focus in um, as you can see um, other than that, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, free, pretty good, and works with 8.1. Bang. What more do you want? Um, I would imagine you can fine-tune it to work a bit better. And like I said, I would imagine there are other things out there that are probably better for this. But uh, I stumbled onto this. I needed something a few days ago when I had to make a tutorial on my desktop. And this is what I'm using. So, guys, there it is. Open Broadcast Software. 
Um, I'm Luke Nukes, and if you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome. You know, I try to keep out, get out as many tutorial videos on stuff that I think people will be interested in, you know, gaming wise, and people that have got channels want to record up footage or just, you know, send out cool stuff to uh, YouTube. So, yeah, if you like that sort of stuff, subscribe. If you don't, and you know, don't bother. <laughs> um, and likes really help me out as they help all the YouTuber guys out, you know, because it gets, it gets, gets our shit out there, man. And that's what we need. So, thanks a lot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.